and welcome. Today I shall be showing you how to um, basically change your Windows 7 theme the, and patch the files on that. I've recently done a video before but um, my mate done a, a compression of the files for me to upload it so you can download them but people said that the files weren't complete so basically I am just showing you a new way to do it and I'm gonna do an easier way of having to compress files. Right, first of all we shall go to the internet um, you go to this site which I shall put in the description put the link in the description and then once the page is loaded up you go down here to and you click the download You'll need either WinRAR or WinZip, but I I, I recommend WinRAR because it's best. And the uh, WinZip, I think you have to pay for. And um, once you've got them, you extract it here. You click, and then you basically the Universal Theme Patcher. You click on this. I shall do it so you can see. I will patch my files. Um, okay, there. Yes. Yeah. Patch, patch, and it will just come up options and stuff like that. So, once you've patched your files, your computer will restart. When it restarts, so you restart your computer, come back on, and then um, you want to go to deviart.com. I'll put a link in the description for that as well when you type in Windows. I've already got one there, so. You download it, this is a good theme here, you download this one. I've already got this downloaded, uh, I'll just download this to it. Um, you'll also, if you want to make your windows look like a uh, thing, you can also use a Mac, you can get Mac themes off that site as well. Um, you can also use Rocket Dock, and uh, you, to make it look like the theme, certain theme, you can use um, a Ghost Walker theme. So, what we do now. Once you want that theme's downloaded, you extract it. And then um once you've extracted it, you open the file and the themes are that you have a click on whatever one. Either way you copy this, it says don't copy me but you do. Well you don't copy this folder, you open the folder and you copy this is mine, right. And you you well, you can either drag or you can copy. So we have to copy them to Right, you're on my computer, and uh, um, for your um, theme as well, when you patch, you have it to see if you've got 64 bit as well. I should have mentioned earlier, right? You right click on my computer first of all, you got to check to see if your thing your computer is. If you don't know, you right click on my computer and you click properties, and it should tell you here 64 bit operating system. My one is uh, your one's probably 34 bit, some of them are, but um, if your thing, thing's not on there, I in the section, I apologize. Um, you'll have to Google it somewhere else, cause I, or if I find another one with um, uh, the 34-bit, I'll update it. I'll update the description thing. Alright, so once you've done that and you've gone about, what well, you got right, this is it. Right now you have to go to Windows. It won't, if you want a thing, you go to Windows again, and you go to Resource. You click on it. You click Themes, and your themes will be there. So you get the theme. Once you double click on it, you're supposed to grab it and drag it, but I've already got my this theme in there, so basically, and once you've got it in there, which is here, like my theme's there, you close that, you right click, you personalize, and you click, and then you just scroll down here for your, on the install themes, and then you just click on it. Right, while this loads, right, back time. Hang on. <coughs> right, sorry for that. Um, once you've installed it, you just click on that and your the theme. So that's your thing done. You can also, if I'm not, I'm not sure if the video is recording this, but I have Rocket Dock down at the bottom. 
you can also install that I'll put the link in the description for that and the ghost walker theme and stuff like that for it right um that's all from me today so um thanks for watching and have a good time oh and uh please subscribe if you want thank you